hi everyone in this video i am going to explain you about the relation between beam width and steering angle what do you mean by steering angle and what do you mean by beam width beam width is nothing but half power width so beam width is nothing but beam width is nothing but half power beam width half power beam width so in this case we are explaining i am explaining about the relation between how this beam width nothing but indicated by theta b is varying with respect to the steering angle so what do you mean by steering angle the angle at which the radiation pattern is going to be transmitted into the free space or the angle at which the radiation pattern is going to be received into the phased array antennas okay so suppose if you are taking this is the plane of your antennas and this is the normal normal is nothing but which is 90 degrees from the plane of surface now let us assume this is the angle at which the radiation pattern is going to be transmitted that angle is indicated by theta naught okay and the radiation pattern is going to be transmitted like this okay and half power band with half power beam width is nothing but we need to draw two tangentials like this and the width between these two half power points is nothing but your theta b this is what the relation this is what the indication of beam width theta b and uh, the angle at which the radiation pattern is going to be transmitted theta naught which is nothing but steering angle so steering angle how can you define it steering angle is nothing but steering angle is nothing but the angle at which the radiation pattern is transmitted the angle at which the radiation pattern is transmitted okay this is what the steering angle indicated by theta naught so now we need to find the relation between theta b and this theta naught whether these two are proportional to each other or inversely proportional to each other i will tell you now okay so how the radiation pattern is going to be expressed the radiation pattern is expressed as we know the radiation pattern is indicated by g of theta okay so the radiation pattern the radiation pattern is indicated by g of the radiation pattern is indicated by g of theta that is expressed as g of theta is equal to sin square n pi d by lambda sin of theta minus sin theta naught divided by uh, what is this n pi d by lambda sin theta minus sin theta naught okay so this whole square and this one is sin of this one okay so sin square of this thing divided by the same thing okay how can you write this just simply you can rewrite the expression as theta where theta naught we know where theta naught is nothing but the angle at which the radiation pattern is going to be transmitted so the above equation the above equation is in the form of sin square u by u square with u is equal to n pi d by lambda sin theta minus sin theta naught so sin theta minus sin theta naught it is the expression because of the radiation pattern is going to be transmitted in theta naught direction okay so this value of sin square u by 
u square is having the half of its maximum value yet u is equal to some value like a 0 0.443 into 5. So the above equation, the above expression like a sine square u by u square has half of the maximum value yet maximum value yet u is equal to plus or minus 0 0.443 into 5 that means if you substitute u is equal to plus 0 0.443 pi in this sin square u by u square you will get uh, the maximum value and similarly if you substitute u is equal to minus 0 0.0 0 0.443 pi in this equation then you will get uh, minimum value so the maximum and minimum values of that uh, theta is going to be expressed as expressly uh, obtained yet uh, u is equal to 0 0.443 pi okay so when you substitute when you substitute u is equal to plus 0 0.443 pi 0 0.443 pi you will be having the maximum theta value as theta plus the value is given as the angle corresponding to this is theta plus and similarly u is equal to minus 0 0.443 pi is the angle corresponding to theta minus okay now take this sine theta minus theta naught take this equation as one now take this sine theta minus sine theta naught and rewrite the expression as so from equation 1 from equation 1 sin theta minus sin theta naught is equal to we can write this sin theta minus theta naught as so, uh, how we can write this sin theta minus theta naught cos theta naught minus 1 minus cos theta minus theta naught into sin theta naught. So this is the expression if you expand this again you will get the same exp uh, expression sin theta minus sin theta naught. See if you equate if you want to have if you have any doubt you can uh, rewrite the equation as sin theta minus theta naught is nothing but sin a sin b minus plus uh, minus cos a cos b into sin theta naught minus of 1 minus cos a minus b so cos a cos b plus sin a sin b into this sin naught so if you rewrite this expression and multiplication simplifying you will get the same value sin theta minus theta naught now from this above equation if theta naught value is small if theta naught is small so sin theta naught can be neglected sin theta naught can be neglected and that means the second term is going to be neglected so therefore we can equate in the equation sin theta minus sin theta naught as sin theta minus theta naught cos theta naught substitute this value in equation 1 so from equation 1 u is equal to n pi d by lambda sin theta minus theta naught so there it is sin theta minus theta naught into cos theta naught so take the expression for theta minus theta naught and remaining everything send it to the other side so sin theta minus theta naught is equal to lambda u lambda by n pi d cos theta naught therefore theta minus theta naught is equal to 
साइन इनवर्स ऑफ u लैमडा बाय n पाइ d कास थेटा नॉट ओके दिस इज़ द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन वी हैव गोट थेटा माइनस थेटा नॉट नाउ आई विल ड्रा द सर्किट आई विल ड्रा द वे फॉर्म एंड लेट मी नो व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट वैल्यूज वी कैन फाइंड फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ बीम विड्थ ओके नाउ दिस इज़ द डायरेक्शन इन विच द रेडिएशन पैटर्न इज़ गोइंग टू बी ट्रांसमिटेड okay now theta not generally measured from this normal from this normal nothing but in the 90 degrees line from that normal we always we will find theta not okay generally for example we can take and instead of that generally we can also consider theta not from this point so here to here it is theta not so theta not is the angle at which the radiation pattern is going to be transmitted from the normal so this is theta not now draw two half power points for this radiation pattern so draw two tangentials that is nothing but from here to here it is theta b theta b is the beam width okay at half power points now from here to here let us consider this as theta minus and from here to here on to the other hand other side of this trans uh, what is this tangent it is theta plus so if you do theta plus minus theta minus then you will get what is theta b so we can write it as therefore from the figure theta b is equal to theta plus minus theta minus observe clearly whether you are getting the same equation or not okay so theta b is equal to theta plus minus theta minus now from this above equation what is this equation theta minus theta uh, theta minus theta not is equal to this one so take this equation as number 2 and already we know what are the values of u so yet u is equal to 0. Point plus 0. 0.443 pi theta becomes theta plus so theta plus minus theta not is equal to sin inverse of u in place of u what we have 0. 0.443 pi lambda divided by n pi d cos theta so n pi d cos theta not okay so now pi pi gets cancelled and the sign inverse of this one is approximately equal to because it is off value approximately equal to 0. 0.443 lambda by nd cos theta naught and similarly yet u is equal to 0. 0.443 lambda pi theta is equal to theta minus so theta minus minus theta naught is equal to sin inverse of 0, minus 0. 0.443 pi lambda divided by n pi d cos theta naught so this is approximately equal to we can write it as minus 0. 0.443 lambda by n d cos theta naught okay now what we need theta plus minus theta minus so what we need to do we need to subtract these two equations okay so subtract the above two equations above equations so theta 
plus minus theta minus minus of theta minus minus theta naught. Okay, so theta naught theta naught gets cancelled. It is equal to theta plus minus theta minus. That is equal to this one minus this one. So the how we can write it is equal to zero point. We can add these two because minus of minus plus zero point eight eight six lambda by n d cos theta naught. This is what theta b is equal to that is equal to theta plus minus theta minus. Okay, so now how these two are related? Therefore, the beam width theta b is equal to 0 0.886 lambda divided by n d cos theta naught. So, how these two are related? theta b is inversely proportional to theta naught. So, we can write theta b is inversely proportional to theta naught. Okay, this is the final relation between these two. Okay, therefore, when the beam is positioned at an angle theta naught of broadside, the bandwidth, the beam width in the plane of scan increases like an amount of cos theta naught is inversely proportional. Okay, so as theta naught increases, this uh, theta b decreases. Okay, what is theta naught? Theta naught is the angle at which the radiation pattern is going to be transmitted. Thank you.